What's going on, Comic Collector's Corner, YouTube, and Donny here with a small haul to show off. I attended a local show in Clifton, New Jersey today, uh, mainly to support my LCS who had a table there. Only ended up buying from them and one other vendor, basically digging through some 50 cent boxes, picked up a bunch of crap, and a few good things, I guess. I'm going to go through that now. Stay tuned. So I'm going to do this in two different batches. Going to start with the stuff that I got from my LCS. Uh, this book here, Quest Probe featuring Spider-Man number two. I bought this only because I had previously a while back picked up issue one. Uh, the reason why I picked up issue one was because it had a script by uh, Bill Mantelo, who I'm a fan of, and Mar Greenwald, as well as uh, art by John Romita, who's one of my favorite artists. So that's why I ended up getting this. Again, these uh, batch of books I'm about to show off were all 50 cents. Um, my buddy Miguel showed this off not long ago in trade paperback form. I ended up getting the first issue. I believe there's a few more I'm going to have to get to complete the story. But, you know, again, 50 cents. Why not? Uh, this here, I have absolutely no idea what it is. Uh, the cover seemed intriguing. It was issue one. And it has a story by Warren Ellis, who I know is a great writer. So, um, you know, I picked this up just for the hell of it, really. Again, 50 cents. Uh, this here is a Dynamite one, Red Sonja vs. Thulsa Doom. I thought this might be an interesting read, so I grabbed it. Uh, EC reprint, Weird Fantasy. Again, you know, just a cool cover. You know, figured one day I'll, I'll flip through it. Uh, this here, I usually, you know, I, I try to get things that I can complete, you know, this is number two. I have no idea when I'm going to come across Electra Magazine number one. But again, it was 50 cents. It was in great condition. It's the retelling of a story uh, that was done, um, you know, in the in the Daredevil series. And, uh, you know, with uh, Frank Miller and Klaus Jansen. So I said, you know what? It's a thick, you know, uh, thick 60 pager, you know, collects two of the, uh, of the issues, uh, two of the four, I believe. So I grabbed it again, 50 cents. Another giant size one, weird secret origins. It was in pretty good shape, a little bit of a bend, but you know, I thought this was a interesting one too. Got it has a, a bunch of different short stories in it. And this one here, I thought was a good deal because it's a relatively new one. Again, it's a thick one, you know, about 60 pages, I'd say. Doc Savage special, uh, you know, dynamite, you know, uh, woman of bronze. 50 cent pickup so i thought that was a good deal and then the main thing i got from my lcs which i've seen uh you know it's funny because this is a a four-part mini and all the covers are great but the only one that i ever see posted is this one so my lcs had the entire set for 30 bucks i don't know if that's a good deal or not i do know that this particular issue is uh, it can be pretty pricey. It's a cool cover, you know, um, but all of them are cool covers. This is issue two. Huck Finn, I mean, uh, Tom Sawyer, rather, pardon. A Christmas Carol number three. Really cool covers. And the last one, a Sherlock Holmes cover, Deadpool with a magnifying glass laying his hat on fire. So... I figured 30 bucks for all four, why not? Uh, so that was all that I got from my LCS. I could have stayed within town to essentially buy these, but again, you know, it was a rainy Sunday here in New Jersey, and I thought I would go check out a local convention, which was only 15 minutes from my house anyway. Stay tuned for the second portion. So the second guy who I bought some books from had a nice deal going on with sets as well as modern books, just kind of loose issues. Uh, so he had completed sets, uh, five bucks a piece, or if you get five sets for 20. So what you see here in front of you are the five sets. I'm going to open these up so that I can actually show them off. But I did also end up getting, he had three modern, um, his deal was three modern issues for five bucks. So... I got this one here, which I thought was cool since I'm a Venom fan. It's uh, How to Draw Venom in Six Easy Steps. I'm actually going to attempt to do this, and I will include it in this video. Uh, it will probably be horrible. So 
that was one of them. And then this here, I read issue one and two, and it was pretty good. So I saw issue three. I figured why not, since it was a part of uh, of the deal, get three book, modern books for five bucks. And then here is a nice giant size one shot of the Avengers, which is four ninety nine by itself. And I got all three for five bucks, which again I thought was a pretty good deal. So I'm gonna now just run through the the sets real quick. So I'll go through these quick. Again, these are the five sets from the vendor who um the second vendor who I visited. Uh, some of you guys may know I'm a fan of um you know Dungeons and Dragons and you know Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, you know type you know fantasy lore. So I saw this again. This was uh, you know the deal was five sets, uh, one set for five dollars or five for twenty. So this is issue one, issue two, three, four. Five. IDW. They do a lot of uh, Dungeons and Dragons. This is a four issue one featuring Nightcrawler, who is always one of my favorite X Men. I don't know if these are any good or not, but they seem to revolve around him. Also, rocking the, you know, the priest collar, which is pretty cool. four so this isn't like a set set but it's a set for the storyline the next one i'm going to show it's uh, mark specter moon knight i guess it was a three issue story arc featuring spider-man and the punisher so i thought that would be a fun read And then the next set was Avengers related, the Masters of Evil storyline, if I'm not mistaken. I've always wanted this color because I'm a fan of the Black Knight. 274. 275. These are all uh, Busima, I believe Sal Busima, Tom Palmer covers. I'm not sure if it's John or Sal. I think it's Sal. Could be wrong. Avengers number 276. And then the last issue, 277. Now the next set I got, I was pretty happy. I thought this was a good score. Uh, it has a particular cover that I've seen many times before. And I said if I ever come across it, I'm going to get it. You'll know which cover it is when I show you. But it happens to be uh, the Man and Wolf Part 1 of 6. Captain America 402 is where it starts. And it says there, the search for John Jameson begins. Captain America 403. Here's a cool cover with Wolverine 404. And this is the one that I've seen before. And I said, if I ever come across this storyline, I know this cover always looked cool to me. You know, I says, I'm going to get it. And again, the guy had all six issues. So it was a no brainer, five bucks. You know, good deal, I thought, for this. And then last issue, 407 with Cable. So that's it, my friends. I appreciate you guys tuning in and listening to my comic ramblings. Catch you down the line. Well, I said I would give it a go. So here is mine. Not bad, I thought.